Power BI versus Tableau. Let's settle it once and for all. We are going to evaluate both tools on five different factors. Number one, visualization, then data shaping and data modeling. Number four, about the whole ecosystem. And number five is a mystery factor, which may be more important than one to four combined. Now, these are my opinions. Now, I do have extensive experience in the BI industry, but if you have a different take, leave that in the comment down below. And if you're looking to learn Power BI, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Let's start with number one, visualization. Here, I think Tableau is a clear winner, at least right now. Now, the way I see visualization, it's kind of like uh, the iOS or Apple versus Android. There's one platform which is more of a walled garden, more of a curated approach. And that, if you haven't guessed, is Tableau. And Tableau is a company based on research. I believe they were born out of research done in uh, Stanford or UW, one of those places. And and I believe they, they follow or definitely have been inspired by Stephen Few and Edward Tufte. Both of them, I deeply admire. So everything in Tableau looks slick. It's beautiful. It works together. Now, Power BI, don't get me wrong, is tremendous. It's really amazing what it offers in visualization, but it has gone down a slightly different path. So uh, Power BI, they have opened up the visualization SDK, and that means there is a, a rich library of custom visualizations. Now, again, it's kind of a bit like the Apple versus the Android or Apple more curated approach. Here you have a more of an open market with a lot of entries there. And it could be just a personal preference, but I highly prefer the Tableau's curated, clean, beautiful approach. Let's talk about number two, data shaping, and number three, data modeling. I'll talk about them together because they're kind of what's under the hood. And if you've heard me talk about this before, visualization becomes the easy part if what you have under the hood is super powerful. If you have spent the time, energy, effort there, and that's where I spend 80, maybe 90% of my time when I'm working with a client building a BI model. So. You know, so th that's where the meat is. And here, I believe Power BI has a clear edge. So let's look at data shaping. That's where Power BI offers the query editor. And it's really amazing. The tool is so flexible and I love so many features around it. One of my favorite things about it is that it's self-documenting. It offers you tons of options in the ribbon itself. And if you want to go deeper, there's tons to explore inside the M language. So really powerful and really easy to use. And Tableau doesn't quite have anything like that in uh, on its side. In fact, I've often heard from Tableau users who would admit that they go back and forth between Excel and Tableau, doing the data shaping in Excel using the query editor and then bringing it into Tableau. On the data modeling side, Power BI is it's one of those tools which is new, but it's 20 years old because it was born out of the SQL team within Microsoft. That's where Power Pivot came along and the DAX language and all of that. But they have brought that experience that they already had in uh, the cube, the model, which is essentially a cube technology. And that's been around for a long time. So Microsoft has tons of expertise there and they have just brought that to the 21st century, brought that in the new age, made it super, super accessible. And I know it can be challenging to kind of get started with DAX and get to grips with it, but it's so much more accessible than the previous option, which was MDX, which I can never get, right? So uh, Power BI is really strong when it comes to that model, comes to that formula language. Now, Tableau does have a, a, a little bit of a counterpart. It does let you define calculations, but it's, it's not even close when it comes to comparing it to what Power BI has to offer under the hood. So both in number two and number three, my my win goes to Power BI. Let's talk about number four, the ecosystem. And of course, on Microsoft side, there is Azure, there is SharePoint, there is Office 365, there's of course the Power Apps, Power Flow. It's a rich ecosystem, and you can argue Power BI's case because of all of that, but really the only piece that's near and dear to my heart is Excel. And often when people come to me they're like, ah, we're kind of thinking about Power BI or Tableau. I just ask them a simple question. I say, forget about that. Just tell me how many years of Excel experience do you have? And they say, I have 15 years. And I say, okay, fine. What about the total experience, Excel experience on your whole team? And they say, well, maybe a century or two, right? So I often work with the business users and I love Power BI because there are so many scenarios where it works with Excel. It doesn't try to push it away or right? Excel is an amazing tool and when combined with Power BI, 
that's when they can really give you the strength and the agility. So that's, uh, I believe, just for that reason, Power BI gets my vote. Number five, or mystery factor. And as I said, perhaps this is more important than one and four all combined. And number five is really that, guys, there is no versus. There is no kind of competition really between these tools, at least the way I see it. I mean, these two both are great tools in the market marketplace, and we're all better off for because both of them are there. And I again, I'll use that Apple versus Samsung. Now, so uh, here, Tableau and Power BI, if you realize one is kind of inspired by the other. I mean, Tableau came on and brought this new, beautiful BI tool to the market. And, and I would definitely say Microsoft was kind of inspired by that. And so, yeah, I mean, Power BI owes its existence in some sense to Tableau. And if you look at it from the customer's perspective, we're glad to have both tools there because we know that by having both of these companies, we know that both of these companies are going to keep pushing innovation and keep keep trying to, uh, you know, kind of push the envelope. And that, of course, uh, you know, is great for the customer. But lastly, again, I want you to realize that it's not a versus, it's not an either or choice. In fact, what I would typically recommend is that you build your model using Power BI just because Power BI is so strong in that area, right? So you do the clean shape transform using Power BI or the rest of the Microsoft ecosystem and you build the data model there using DAX, using the, all, all the formal language and all those capabilities. But then you're free to choose the visualization tool of your choice. You can use Power BI reports and dashboards, but you can also create Excel reports if you wanted to. And also in that link, you could also connect Tableau to a Power BI model. Now, right now, not all scenarios are enabled easily, but there are certainly scenarios, for example, Azure Analysis Services, SSAS Tableau, where you can have easily a Tableau visualization connect back to your Power BI model. So I really hope that these companies Microsoft and, and Tableau, they work together to make that more seamless because, again, there's no either or. Once you have your model, you can use the visualization tool of your choice. Now, that's my take on Power BI versus Tableau. I will also be speaking at a TDWI event. Uh, it's titled BI Across Borders, and it'll have uh, myself and other experts from the industry talking about the same uh, uh, scenario and and really we realize and recognize that we're all dealing with the same challenges and tools my friends are just a means to an end so it doesn't really matter if you take this road or that road to solve your bi problems details are shown on screen below so i would love to see you in person for that event if you can attend and i would also love to hear your take on this topic so make sure you leave a comment below and make sure to click subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified whenever I go live or uh, I post a new video. I also wanted to personally invite you to our private Facebook group, Talk Power BI. Until next time, be bold, be audacious, power on, my friend.